Okay, so welcome to the next day. So this is, um, what day is it? It's Thursday today, isn't it? It's yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it'll be our day. And we so are it? currently leaving Port Lincoln and going to head up. Um, we're going to kind of bypass Port Augusta and head up to, or back round, sort of up to Port Augusta, round and down to Port Piri which is just about two and a half hours north of Adelaide, so um, covering a little bit more distance than we intended to do today. But we've got off nice and early, and uh, all is good. It was nice where we stayed last night, wasn't it? Yeah, lovely. Motel, Shane Street Motel in Shane, Port Yeah, Shane Street Motel in Port Lincoln. We, we, did a bit of, uh, we had a bit of a panic because as we... Uh, arrived in Port Lincoln yesterday, as you'll probably see from. I think I, I did a bit of caught a bit of it on video. There must have just been a storm coming through, and it was so windy, it was unbelievable. We rode into the town to have a little bit of a ride round to see what, where you know what the accommodation situation was. We had nothing but, so we're planning on um, just saying, "Oh, that looks nice. Let's try in there." Uh, and it was really, really windy. It was so hard to, to manoeuvre us. Uh, you know, we're back in traffic in a town. It was crazy. One woman got out of a car, didn't she? And she said, how are you managing on that? It's blowing the car about. She said, it's nearly blowing the car all over the road. <laughs> And so, she was back uh, in Dunsborough. She was, not Dunsborough, yeah, she was from Bassendine, wasn't we're she? But anyway, we, we went to a place, or uh, well, we got into a cafe and we got the phones out because we finally had a bit of coverage. And uh, basically everywhere was full. Because it was We tried a couple of places. Still. It was still the school holidays here. Um, and uh, we, we struggled. We, we sort of went to this Shane Street place as kind of a last resort. It didn't look particularly nice from the outside. But anyway, it turned out to be great. It's one of the cheapest places we've stayed in. It was a really nice room. It was ideal for what we wanted. Big bench it's seats down one wall for all our, all our luggage and what have you. So from a biker's point of view, it wasn't, it was no palace by any stretch, but from, from a point of view of what we needed, it was perfect. It was lovely. We were a couple of kilometres outside the town. So, um... We rode the bike into town for tea and happened to stumble on a nice, uh, it was Italian, wasn't it? Yeah. A yeah. nice Italian restaurant and had a lovely meal. It really was. We, we shared a pizza and a pasta and had half each and it was absolutely really good, wasn't it? Did enjoy mm, that. Delicious. Yeah. And then we were both knackered. We went back to the room. This is the thing with this, you're getting such a, a, a lot of fresh air, I think, in the day that um, I don't think we've made it past nine o'clock at night, have we, really? Probably not. <laughs> Says Andy, <laughs> yawning. <laughs> yeah. Well, I woke up at four and didn't get back to sleep till six, and then at ten to seven, you wanted to get up. Well, I was awake because I'd slept all night like a normal person does. Yeah, well, maybe I'm not normal. Mm, I'll not go there. So yeah, we're going to do um, about an hour and 40 minutes now to a place called Cowell. Uh, I suspect it's where Simon Cowell lives, so we'll probably bump <laughs> yeah, into right. him. Um, <laughs> He's and, and have a brew there. We've had nothing yet this morning, so we'll have a coffee there, perhaps. And the temperature today is uh, a very measly 17 at the moment. Vents, get to I don't know whether you can tell, but vents are now closed. Um, there's a high of, uh, of only about 19, maybe 20 today, and a slim possibility of some rain. So weather will stay dry. If it does rain, it's only supposed to rain a bit. Might have been better putting our pants on. The sun always shines on the righteous. Next thing you know, so it's bloody prepare to get down. wet. <laughs> <laughs> We're shafted then, aren't we? Because sure. you're one of the luckiest people I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so we'll munch a few K's and uh, catch up with you for a brew in a bit, most likely. Bye for now. Bye.
So we've made it to Cowell and um, it's just a little sustenance break. Angie finally got her half a Danish and um, we've already devoured some fruit toast before I remembered to get the camera out. We've had breakfast today. A little bit chilly on the way here. It was 17, 18 degrees and uh, we've, we've dug out the, the bubble jackets for the next leg. So, back in a bit. So we'll just have a little tootle round Cowell, see what, ooh, see what this is all about. I don't think there's... Oh, thought that was a trunk. Much here, really. Just been talking to a couple of uh, older ladies just when we came out the cafe there. Lovely and one of them was saying she'd lived all her life around here in one or two of the smaller villages. And since her husband passed away and she's on her own, she's, come she's to moved, town. <laughs> moved up to, the, to the, the big town. Apparently this is the big town. Oh. <laughs> The villages here are very much, well, when I say villages, the towns here are very much like the towns in Perth, aren't they? On the outskirts. They yeah. That's, uh... So our next stop is going to be uh, Wyella on the way to Port Augusta. Right, so we'll see you in Wyella. Oh, for fuel. Yeah, fine for fuel. Um, yeah, we've got 420k. Uh, so we'll see you in Wyella or Port Augusta, one of the two. So we're just coming into a very windy Wyella on our way to Augusta, but we just have a little ride around, see what it all looks like. It's very windy though, it's really it's blustery. It's very open, so it's... I don't know whether you could... I don't know whether the microphone is picking that up or not. Purposely, it's delicate. It's well, it's very good. Blowing a gale, isn't it? in my helmet, not about yours. Just see, by the way, I've, that's not me moving the bike, that's just the wind moving the bike. He's green. No, oh, this is this is what I was assuming to be a foreshore area. Not a cricket pitch, you can put sign. The day parks. Look, it's green. The sea, dark green. Yeah, it is green, green actually. Yeah. The camera will pick that up. It's very green. Mm. I wonder why that is. They're usually turquoise, aren't they? Oh, there's a big park. To your right, the children's playground. Very green, isn't it? Oh, is that it? That's all the foreshore you can have. Want to park for two minutes and just get yeah, off? Yeah, well, we'll just that. have a bit of a leg stretch. stretch. Our legs. Yeah. Now we're keeping our helmets on because it's blowing, blowing a little gale. <laughs> And you won't be able to hear a dicky bird of what we're saying. But this is um Where the hell are Wyella. we, Andy? I forgot. Wyella. Wyella or something. Yeah. Well it's down on the foreshore here, it's quite nice. The it's town quite pretty. Town is quite basic, to say the least. I think it's a bit industrial a lot of it the time. It is it does seem to be fairly industrial, but unusual just how green the sea is. That's what we thought we might show you. But yeah, on a nice, less blustery day, quite a cute little place. You can tell it's been windy, it's blown all that seaweed in. <laughs> we haven't really shown you, and I might as well just do it now whilst um, I've got a chance. But as you can see, this is how we are travelling at the moment. We're pretty... Uh, Pretty well loaded up, but the bike's going great. Absolutely no issues. Everything's working out exactly as we thought it would. Oh, 
Okay, so we are just now arriving in yet another windy Port Huey, which is where we're staying tonight, in the John Huey Motor Inn. So yes, it has been blowing a hoolie all the way here again. You're fighting it constantly. Thank you for overly nice riding, to be honest. <laughs> Angus and there. Crow, there you go, that's it. That's it, that's hopefully where we're going for tea tonight. It looks nice. Here we are. Yeah, it does look nice. Ah, see them little cabins down there. Mm -hmm. We've got a nice little cabin. We think we have anyway. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Well, they did come back to and confirm, didn't they? Yeah, they did, yeah, yeah. No vacancy. Good job, you book. Where's the reception? There Here, it is. Right in front of you. Okay. Okay. Let's check a thin us. Good job, I'm so nimble. So this John Pirri motor in is really nice. Have a look at this. So that's our digs for the night. All the bags are stripped off the bike. We've just carted everything in. We've only been in about 15 minutes. A nice little veranda. And this is all brand new. It's, uh, when we opened the door, it just smelt lovely. So we're fairly organized now. But how nice is that? Really nice big king bed, lovely clean bedding. We're pretty organised with boxes unpacked. There's already files transferring on the computer there. And, oh, the tea is ready, more importantly. Another tea lady. Same tea lady seems to show up everywhere. A little complimentary bottle of wine and such like. And just flick the light on. Nice little bathroom, all super modern. What more could you ask for? Lovely. Looks like we're sitting out on the balcony. Why not? Perfect. So we're just leaving Port Pirie and the uh, John Piri Motor Inn, which was lovely accommodation, uh, but we had relatively shit food really last night, uh, frustratingly. Um, it was all right. It was it just was, not what he expected. Well, I'm I'm a bit of a sucker for pork ribs. I really like pork ribs if they're good. Um, and I've never, they were very, very dry pork ribs. Um, I'd got through half of them before I, I remembered to take the picture, to be honest, but they were very dry and, and served with tomato ketchup. I mean, who, who serves pork ribs with tomato ketchup? It should be a really nice barbecue sauce, surely. Um, so well, yeah, it is very when it's got the name Angus. In it was cut, yeah, name of the yeah, Angus and Co. It was the, the restaurant, which so we assumed it's really good. And he has a steak, and that, to be honest, looked absolutely average. And the pepper sauce was all sort of congealed and not very nice, mm. so yeah. it was just kind of trading off the name, really. Which yeah. is a shame because it was a lovely place, it, it got everything else right, but <laughs> the food was very like the chef, just didn't need care. a couple of chefs, yeah. It were like yeah. it was an apprentice, and the chef was off, wasn't it? Maybe yeah. that's the case, because it yeah. was Thursday night. Maybe the chef had rung in sick. The, the other thing that's interesting is everybody, when, when we've had occasion to ask anybody, I said to the waitress, which steak would you recommend? Because they had quite a few. And there's been a few questions that we've asked a few people in the last week or so. And everybody we've spoken to has said, oh, it's only my second day, or oh, I've only been here a week. <laughs> uh, everybody is, is, must just be transient. They must just work a few days and then bugger off. Because we've not spoke to anybody that, that is actually working, serving, or doing anything like that of that nature. That it's probably has done it the, for any period of time. Yeah, it's really it's odd. It's probably the trade, that, isn't it? Boats and bikes. There you go. Mm. So we're basically heading into Adelaide today. We've had another little change of heart with uh, our plans, uh, but as they stand currently, we're hoping to find some uh, really reasonably nice accommodation for a couple of days in Adelaide. 
So. Uh, but not directly in the city, probably. Not not right in the city, just probably a little bit out, maybe 15, 20 minutes ride uh, out of the city. So we'll see how that pans out. So I think we'll sign off for a bit and uh, catch up with you at brew time in, in about an hour and a half or so. Bye for now. So just had a nice little sustenance break in Port Wakefield and now we're heading to the Morfittville Inn which is uh, Try it, where we were planning on going it. but has just actually been recommended to us as well so fingers crossed it should be okay so we're now in Adelaide and this is the uh, Morfittville Inn in uh, somewhere in Adelaide can't remember <laughs> I'll show you around. So again, we're able to park right outside, which is good. Just got all the bags off. And again, I think they've been refurbed, these rooms, but this is all nice and new again. All nice and spotlessly clean. All fairly organized. And the main thing is the kettles have been on. We're starting to charge things up and we've got the uh, staff doing some jobs. She's not got time to talk to you, I'm sorry, she's busy. <laughs> so yeah, nice place again. So we're in Adelaide Town Centre now. We didn't film any of the riding in yesterday because it was just traffic. It was, we was a bit more concerned with trying to find where we were going and such like. So uh, now is the following morning. We've just rode into um, the town centre, parked the bike or blocked the jackets and helmets away. What did I say? City centre. Um, so we're just having a little bit of a wander. I'm going to get a coffee and we'll show you what, uh, what Adelaide looks like on a bit of a miserable day. There's just a bit of very, very fine rain in the air and I think it's possibly going to get a bit worse tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, oh, let's have a wander. We think we're in the main kind of shopping area now. The what? Bakehouse? Considering it's about 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning, it's amazingly quiet. Seems kind of unusual, but there's a police station right on the high street, which is, uh, never seen that before. So this appears to be the pedestrian, uh, <coughs> pedestrianized area. <coughs> Run, rundle, a rumble, rumble now, something like that. Still very quiet. Perth would be absolutely buzzing on a Saturday morning. Wild pigs in the city. Who'd have thought it? Honestly, it's just a load of balls. Oh, we've got a preacher or something here. That is one long-legged elephant. I think our daughter and son-in-law would quite like this shop. Just all Christmas. <laughs> it started raining. Busying up just a little bit now. Ten past eleven now. Yeah, Beatles. Just reflecting. But yeah, they're up there. Very young, but So we feel like we've kind of exhausted the shop area of the city. This is where we parked. So we're going to head over to the coast now, Henley Beach, I think. Bum bum. So you might have to excuse the wind, I'm afraid. We've uh, only got the iPhones with us today. Um, but this is Henley Beach on a, on a pretty miserable day, to be fair. Um, it's quite nice. I would imagine it's, it's pretty, pretty damn, damn lovely when the sun's out. Just a bit wild today. So we'll 
Let's have a little bit of a wander, see what we can find. People in the sea? Yeah, there's people in the sea. Goodness me. Be a crazy person. <laughs> so we've so we've rode down to Glen Elg, which is where we came last night to be honest. Um, but uh, this is really quite nice here. This, there's quite a bit going on. We'll have a walk down the street shortly. Um, but yeah, it's it's this is nice here. Quite like Glen Elg. Still not the best of days, and again, apologies for the wind. This coastline here would be nice on a nice day, and we'll take a stroll down that main street in a sec. So we've actually done a fair few k's today. We've had a good old walk around the city and a good old walk around Glen Elg. Um, it's been really nice actually. It's been a little bit rainy on and off and a little bit miserable but it's brightened up lovely now and we're off to see uh, Lee and Liz and Neil and some friends of ours tonight which should be great. We haven't seen them for years. Years and years. So yeah all good. Good day. And she's got a booze, so she's happy. <laughs> so we are now leaving uh, Adelaide on a, a really miserable day with, uh, it's actually not raining at the minute, but it's forecast to rain all day. And we're going to border town uh, for tonight's day. And it's forecast to rain all day in border town as well. So we're expecting a, a, a very wet ride today. Although at the moment, it's dryish. Um, Did rain through the night. We've put our it? wet weather pants on and we've got our wet weather jackets at the ready. We can put them on if needs be. Not put them on for now because you get very sweaty if uh, once you're wearing them. So Border Town is the next uh, port of call. So we've had a couple of nights in Adelaide which have been really nice on it and yeah, beautiful. Um, so we had a good wander around the city. Um, as I mentioned before, we just did that little bit of filming with the iPhones because uh, we didn't want to walk around the city with cameras and crap. Um, but that was good. Glen Elg was really nice. Did like Glen Elg. And we'll probably stop back in Adelaide for another couple of nights on the way back home. Uh, looking forward to that. We caught up with our friends who we hadn't seen for years last night, which was really nice. It's good to have a good chat and a bit of reminiscing and oh, all sorts. It was good. Just nice to have a catch up. Um, completely lost touch um, with with not lost touch with them as such, but we're, we're kind of out of touch with what had been going on. Uh, Neil, who was uh, my best one, our best man at our wedding, who I my, my best mate all through school. We were trying to decide on on the way. Uh, we knew he'd got kids, but we couldn't remember whether he'd got one or two. Uh, we guessed that he or she would be about six. six. That Turns was out probably when he last came to visit us. That, that he, would probably, he was, probably yeah. then. Yeah. And that was Turns probably out what he got... told us then. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. Probably got, uh, well, he's got two. Uh, and they are 14 and just coming up to 18. 17, 18, <laughs> something, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just a little bit out of touch. But no, it was really nice to have a catch up and see what everybody's up to and what have you, we, we, we must keep in touch more. So hopefully we can get out of Adelaide pretty cleanly now and not get too snagged up in traffic because we've got loads of layers on and you <laughs> very quickly start to feel uncomfortable. So we'll munch some miles and uh, get back to you more than likely at brew time when we find a little cafe or bakery or something to uh, have a snack and a warm up. Yeah, absolutely. You go first. I'll be straight in after you. Okay. I'll go and get my cosy on. <laughs> oh, just go in as you are. <laughs> ah, 
can't bloody feel me. I'm going to have to take my glove off. This is going to be a laugh. Not taking my helmet off. Anybody tell you you're nutter? Oh, lots of people. <laughs> now, which way would you think is Port Piri? Mm -mm. I can't. Right. We didn't. Just, just committed to going left. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in um, we're in Melbourne Town Centre now. We didn't film any of the riding. We're in Adelaide. Oh, hang on, I'm recording instead of photoing. Uh, uh, looks like we're probably going in the wrong direction. Ready? Yeah, yeah, go on. Oh, this could be hard, couldn't it? One, oh. two, three. Oh, I can't do it, babe. Shit, just a minute. Got oh, a lot of layers up on. A little, oh, your pants up so you can, you've got a little bit of give in your pants. Okay. Ready? One, go. two, three. Shit. Oh, oh my God. Right. Up, get it over there. Oh, holy shit! I've got too many layers on. Ah. Yeah, you've got well, you've got a lot on. Haven't you? Okay. I've got four layers on. That Again. was hard. Yeah. 